Hi, um, I'm Robin. I'm going to present our work on transfer learning by adaptive merging of multiple models, a work by myself, Victor Wegmeier, and Luca Currencia. So let's jump into it. Uh, in deep learning today, transfer learning means pre-training on a source task and then fine-tuning on a target task. And indeed, transfer learning is an ingredient to most high-ranking challenge submissions. <clears throat> it's especially useful when data is um, abundant in the source task and limited in the target task. But what happens if there is multiple source tasks from which to transfer from? The, question, uh, the answer to that question today is to just try out and settle for the one that works best for you. Uh, but you cannot be certain that there isn't benefits from these sources that are mutually exclusive and maybe setting, settling for one is missing out on the benefits of the other. We know that just training tasks incrementally is not going to cut it because of catastrophic forgetting. And that's why we came up with an algorithm that is largely inspired by the uh, lifelong learning domain where we actually we, uh, we split training into two phases. In the first phase, we merge pre-trained models according to the new target task, and then we fine-tune on the target task. In order to, um, to test our method, we set up the following experiment. We, uh, we define a task one, where we let a network uh, segment brain tissue from healthy brain MRI. Uh, this is uh, a training set of 28 patients. And then we set up a fairly similar task two, where we let the network segment other tissues in brain MRI. And this is another 28 patients in this training set. And then we define a third task, which is essentially um, brain tumor segmentation, we make use of the BRATS data set 2017 here, and we look at different scenarios of 10, 20, and 255 patients. And what we notice is that if we only have 10 patients, so a fairly small training data set, and we don't use any transfer method, then our model, as expected, performs fairly bad. Uh, this is the average dice coefficient overall tumor labels. If we use transfer learning from the first task, then we do see a certain uh, improvement. And if we transfer task two, there's an even larger improvement. But now we are at the point that we pointed out at the beginning. How should we choose from which task to transfer a priori? And should we now just settle for task two, where there is obviously a benefit from task one as well? Yes, OK. So essentially, we show that we are able to fuse knowledge from the old tasks. And if your data set is limited and you have multiple source tasks, then our method can make a difference. Thank you very much.